Hey coaches, Coach Kempton here with SuddenChillFootball.com and System Overload. This is our second uh, video log uh, of our weekly video logs. Last week I did one on player characteristics, went over um, you know, what we look for in the 3-3 stack for each position. Um, and you can find that on our YouTube channel um, from last week. What I wanted to do this week with you guys is I wanted to share with you how we get from our 3-3 stack into our 46 bear package. Uh, one of the beautiful things, one of the many great things about our 3-3 is we're not just a three-man front. We're a three-man front, we could be a four-man front, we could be a five-man front, and we get in the bear, just all depends on how you want to do it. So we're very multiple in our 3-3. Uh, the bear is a great complementary package uh, to our 3-3, and it's really simple to get into it. So I just want to quickly, you know, just cover couple of basic formations with you and just show you, you know, how we get from our 3-3 into our bear. So I'll, I'll put up our 3-3 first, just so you guys can see how we, we get aligned, just a basic pro formation here. Okay, so there's our 3-3 and how we would align. Our Viper is our strong side end. So we're going to say we're a field-based team, so we're going to say that uh, the field is to our left here in this diagram. So our Viper is our, our, our strong side end, our nose, our anchor is our weak side end, our Rover and our Will are our two down safeties, okay, and then our three inside linebackers, the Sam, the Mike, and the Outlaw, our two corners and our free. So that's how we would align in our 3-3 three, three stack. Now to get into bear from this, we move into it quite a bit, um, and sometimes we'll just line up in it. Um, we're, I'll show you how we move to it. So all we do here to get in a bear is our two defensive ends, our Viper and our Anchor, they're going to reduce down to three techniques. So our Viper moves down to here, our Anchor moves down to here. So there's your three, zero, three inside, okay? Our two edge players now are our Rover and our Will, our two down safeties. So those guys are just going to walk up to the line of scrimmage, okay? Now they're going to be your edge players in bear. So there's your Viper, there's your Rover, and there's your Will. Okay, so there's your two edge players. Now we play Bear a little bit different than a lot of the traditional versions of Bear. The back in the old Buddy Ryan days when it first came out, and, and um, I've been running it this way for almost 20 years now, uh, and it's been very successful. So it's a little bit different, and we'll show you what the difference is. So for us. When we get into bear, we are always going to be plus one in the box. So if you have two backs in the backfield, we're going to have a three backer box. If you have one back in the backfield, we're going to have a two backer box. So we're always going to be plus one in the box. Now when bear originally came out, it was a run defense predominantly, mostly a two back, 21, 22 personnel type, type deal. But we've really expanded with it, and we play it versus 10 personnel, 11 personnel. We play it versus everything, to be quite honest with you. Um, and it's been really good for us, okay? So when we get into Bear now, our rules for our Sam and Owl, I'm not going to go into detail with it. You can find this on uh, Southern Football, southernchillfootball.com. You can find that um, on our 2D animation slides. We've got 76 2D animation slides, and Bear is... I think we've got four or five different bear slides that go into detail, coverage, pressures, uh, base rules and responsibilities, all right? But just for this vlog, I don't want to go too long here, uh, just give you some basic rules. The Sam and the Outlaw, their first rule is, do I have a tight end or don't I have a tight end? If I have a tight end, I go down and play him. If I don't have a tight end, then I'm a C-split player unless... Okay, unless I have a certain width of formation with, with receivers. So in this case, for the Sam, do I have a tight end? Don't I have a tight end. I have a tight end. I come down, line up the inside shade, heavy inside shade in the tight end, and I'm playing him man to man. Okay, corners will play press, bail, off man, press man, however you want to do it. We've played it all. They're playing number one, man to man. Okay, so the corners rule is any receiver with width, with width means anything outside of a tight end, anything outside of a tackle, the number one receiver, the corners you have in man-to-man. -man. 
Okay? He could line up here, 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 anywhere. Wherever number one is, you've got a man-to-man. -man. If there's no number one to your side, you become a C-split player. You become in the box. All right? So now, in this case here, we have two backs in the backfield, so we said we're well, going to be plus one, so we're going to have a three back of box. We get that third player with the free safety. He is our adjuster. Okay? The free safety's rule is two detached, got him man to man. No two detached, I'm in the box. Okay? So now free safety is going to come down as a C split player, and when he comes down in the box, he's going to say, I'm down, I'm down. So to alert the other linebackers, whether it's the Sam or the outlaw, the Mike is always in the box. He never leaves the box. The free comes down to alert those guys that, hey, I'm coming down as two backs in the backfield or a three backer box. The free safety is the C split player. Okay? So this is what we look like. Man on number one with the corners. The Sam linebacker has the tight end man to man. The free safety and the outlaw have first out to their side. Okay? So they're going to two way on the back. So if the fullback was to come out here, the free safety would take him. If the fullback was to come out this side, the tailback would swing, the outlaw would take him. Tailback swings, free safety takes him. In this situation with two backs, the Mike has no pass responsibility. He's a free hitter, which is what you want versus two back set. Okay? The Rover and Will for us, we are bend and spill players off the edge. All right? So if we get any kind of a down block, by the tight end, down block by the tackle, the rover and the will, we say you're gonna take the air out of it. You wanna come as tight as you can off of that, okay? And you're looking to spill all blocks. We're gonna wrong arm everything, whether it's the fullback on power, or whether it's the play side guard on a G scheme, whether it's the backside guard on a counter, those guys are gonna be bend and spill players. Our two C split players, now when I say C split, C split means the alignment. So they are going to split the C gap, all right? And these three guys, in this case, the second level players, are at five yards. You don't want to be too tight. What I tell the guys is, the guys, let the front do the work for you. Don't get caught up in here. You have no open gaps up front, all right? So if you get caught up in here, you can't get over the top to scrape. So our straight contained player would be our free safety. He is flow read all the way, keen on the backs. So if we got flow coming this way, he's over the top, he's spilling. All right? Again, I don't want to go into real detail, I'm just showing you how we get aligned in. Uh, if the tight end was to fan out on the rover, now the rover becomes a contained player and the free safety would fit off the rover inside on that. Okay? So the Sam has the tight end man to man. He is eyes are fixed on the tight end. He's got him locked down with a three technique, wide threes with the viper and the anchor. The nose is in a zero. Okay, we will talk in the animations and, and more about that. Uh, is, is how we play the nose. The Mike's a free hitter. He's keying fullback. He's keying backfield flow all the way. We're all flow reads in this because there's no uncovered lineman, so there's no lineman to read. Okay, so that's how we would align versus a pro formation two back. Let's go over here to a, a still a two back formation, but now we don't have any tight ends, okay? Now, here's how you apply your rules. If you apply your rules with this package, you're gonna get lined up versus everything, okay? So, say the field is to our left, all right? So we're deploying to our left, Lenny, 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 whatever you wanna call it, uh, whatever your terminology is to get your guys lined up. Okay, so the rover would be the edge player, the viper would be the three technique, the nose is the zero, the anchor is the three technique, the will is the edge player to that side. Corner, number one receiver with wit, man to man. Corner's on one, corner's on one over here. Okay, free safety's rule. Free safety, two detached, that's my first key. Do I have a two, a two detached receiver? Yes, I do. So now we're gonna take it, okay? Coaching point here is we want to make sure we play on levels. We don't want to play on the same level to avoid the rub routes, be able to get over the top on that. So we play on different levels, all right? Now, we said two backs, three back of box. We're always going to be plus one. So where do we get our three back of box here? Sam and the outlaw. What's your rules? Do I have a tight end? Don't I have a tight end? Do you have a tight end here? No. Now I'm a C-split player. Unless the Sam would have a three detached or the outlaw would have a two detached weak. Okay, so in this case, 
Free safety's got two detached strong, no tight end. Sam is the C-split player, Mike's in the middle, outlaw, no tight end, C-split to the weak side. Sam and the outlaw, two-way on the backs. First back out to their side, man-to-man. -man. Mike's the free hitter, okay? Rover will bending. Sam and the outlaw are our straight contain players, okay? So that's how we get lined up versus two backs with no tight ends. And now you go to some one-back stuff. Okay, we'll go a two by two set here, traditional two by two set. Okay, field is to our left again. Okay, so we deploy to the left, Lenny Lenny, Rover, Viper, Nose, Anchor, Will. Okay, what's the alignment off of that? One yard outside of the tight end. Okay, we're gonna tilt those guys a little bit. Okay, we'll talk more about that in, a, in another, another video and on some of our 2D slides. Okay, corners, number one, man, corner, number one, man, free safety, what's your rule? Two detached, do I have a two detached? Yes, I do, free safety, two detached. Okay, playing inside leverage on all of these in man. Okay, now, how many backs do we have in the back there? One, so how many back or box are we gonna be? Two, we're gonna be plus one in the box. Okay, so how do we get our two guys now? We said the bike never leaves the box. Okay, so the Sam is over here. Do I have a tight end? No, so I'm a C-split player. Okay, so there's your Sam. Outlaw, do I have a tight end? Yes, so now the outlaw is down in the tight end. Heavy inside shade, man to man. Mike, always in the box. We know if it's a one back, we're gonna be two backer box, they're both C-splits. Two backs, we're a three backer box. So here's your two C-split guys. Here's your bonus player is the mic, okay, versus two backs. Now it's one back. Reason why I like this so much, it handles the zone read, okay? Most teams, when they run bare versus one back, are gonna keep the free safety high. Now, do we play some man free? Yes, we do, but in certain situations. I'm showing you as the base way how we play it, okay? So now, if they wanna run zone read, we can handle it. If you have, or speed option, another big play that, People want to run against Bear. If you have that one backer look with the free safety back in the middle and you get speed option either way, it's a foot race, okay? You're not gonna win those. So now we've got leverage as our two C-split players, okay? So if they want to run zone read over here and do that, we're bending, now he's your straight guy, here's your quarterback play, okay? So that's how we would align versus a two by two formation, okay, in Bear. Now let's go to a three by one formation. It's basic pro trips formation. Again, field is to the left over here. Okay, so Rover, he's our edge player. Will, he's our edge player to the weak side. The Viper is in a three technique. The nose is in a zero. The anchor is in a three technique. There's your double eagle inside. Okay, corners, number one, got it. Number one, got it. Free safety, two, de two detached. Do I have it? Yes, I do. Free safety, two detached, got it. Okay, now let's go to the backers. Sam, Mike, and the outlaw. Sam, do I have a tight end? Don't I have a tight end? I do. I'm down, I'm playing it. How many backs in the backfield? One. What's our backer box? Two, plus one in the box. Okay, outlaw, do I have a tight end? Don't I have a tight end? I don't, so I'm a C-split player. Okay, Mike, always in the box. C-split player to that side. Okay, so now we can handle it. Now if we got that, we can play speed option over there, okay? So that's why I like not playing the free safety high the majority of the time. Again, we do play some man free, so we can play it that way, all right? So there's a lot more of this. We go into a lot more detail. I appreciate you guys coming on, liking our, our YouTube page, uh, subscribing to it. Um, that's awesome. And we've got a ton of information that we want to get out to you. We're going to do these weekly vlogs on different parts of the 3-3 stack system overload and share as much as we can with you. But get on our YouTube page. Check us out, southernchillfootball.com and system overload. Appreciate you guys. Have a great day.